What's going on, everybody? We're back with the Crooked Man, or the Crook Man. This is part three. And we made a trip to the Ruinheim Hotel. We met Sissy, and we met the Crooked Man, or the Crooked Man. So anyways, now we are on our way to another location. And yeah, here we go. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So, this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julia Stone Law School. Set for demolition, no entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Here we go. It's going to be a lot of looking around because I don't know. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Got the infirmary key. Okay. Alright, so we got to go this way. There we go. Unlock the infirmary. Okay, let's find the trash can. There we go. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Pretty sure we got all of that. Parlor key is, goes to this over here. That's not it, no. Just this one. No, 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 yeah, no, sorry. There we go. Unlock the parlor. Alright. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Uh, hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain. One of the lecturers? Trash can. Okay. See if we can go into Ray Twain. There we go. Lots of books. Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. Okay. So it was... So it's two... Binary numbers made up of binary digits, also known as bits. Okay, so it's... Uh, two... Seven, eleven, right? Is that no, no hand. Two seven fifteen twenty. Hand. I think it was. So it's one zero one zero oh, one. Okay. So, 10, 111. Okay. 10, 101. Right, I'm gonna read this again. Okay, so 2, 5. Oh, that's why. 2, 5, 15. There we go. There's a key to the reference room inside. Let's go to the reference room. Wah! Ow. Oh, I didn't read that. My bad. Who'd you beam? What are you doing in the school, you shady punk? Shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who th who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Humph. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. Well, what do you want? A permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from the school, so I came to bring back some memories. D. 
that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even pol apologize. He pisses me off. Okay. Reference room. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make the, that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I had never understood the psychology stuff, philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? Make sure everything was good. Let's just look over here. A record of books checked in and out. Um, hmm. George Wythe. George Wythe? Mr. So Wythe? So, 80 years old. Okay. A, 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 a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes of jurisprudence. Hmm. An ele elevator carrying books to the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. Some new arrivals are in the like. Alright, well, I think we've done the search here. Looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, law too needs a numeric res representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Computer's not turned on. Oh, here we go. Let's see, maybe. Looks like some sort of diary. I lost a note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room, and my head and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you just use a random number, then you have my problem. Nothing in the refrigerator. The security box requires a passcode. Lots of books. Lots of books. MC, shelter empty. Okay, we need to check on a book, right? Here we go. Michael's dissertation made it into an, an academic journal. Uh, academic journal. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I had the same birthday. I use my birthday as a birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Documents are strewn on the desk. Are strewn? Are strewn? The key to the room is among them. Got the key to John Key's room. Check this real quick. Lots of books. Okay, let's check this real quick. It's some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay, we got the passcode, as always. Okay, was it to. It wasn't Danger Robinson. It was the. No. What was it to? Confused.
There we go. Got a screwdriver, got a grip bar, got a hammer. Wow, got a bunch of tools. Put anything here, right? There we go. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall between behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. This is faculty, criminal law, John Key, civil law, and national law. Okay. I think we got a plan. Let's see, we got a plan. Uh, we're supposed to go. I forgot already. Okay, right here. It's attached to the wall, but the screw's a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. Unscrew the screw holding the portrait. There's a there's writing behind this. 1647? Is it a code for something? Okay, now I gotta go check all those security boxes. See this one. Nope. Okay. Good. Yeah, 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 there we go. <clears throat> okay, there's a key to the lecture hallway. Let's go to the lecture hallway. Oh, wow. What? What? Oh no, I didn't even save. Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought. Damn it. I'll think about it later. Gotta run. No save. Oh, I think I know what to do. Okay. So we're back again. We got to try this again because I don't know what to do in this. So we, we played it all over again. But anyways. Wah! But what? Well, why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought. Damn it. I'll think about it later. Gotta run. Alright, let's go right here. Oh, okay, never mind. Monsters in there are not going in. Lock the room. Yes. Boom. Surely that'll keep it in. Woo. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, tell I, and the hotel's hours away, and the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Yeah. This is driving me nuts. Or am I hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be my imagination. It, it exists. It exists, monster that it is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. Alright, let's go this way. And... So now we can open up the lecture hallway. Boom. All right, now we gotta search all this. Oh, there we go. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Sorry. Those who passed the, the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries, or teachers, all of us will be graduating from the school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to pull a little more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hopes. They're filled with hope for the future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. 
A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. D. How did you get into the, this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Uh, you forget I'm a graduate here. I know all the secret ways, dummy. Ah, uh, well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, has it been really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Huh? You graduated, but you're still stu studying? Hey, lay off it. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm, so I'm cramming at home now. Which doesn't mean you graduated. <laughs> Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. And you got this, I didn't mean it like that. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. It felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful, helpful pr professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Any more, and I'll be way behind my classmates. You got this. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some kind of weird old guy wandering in an abandoned school, but... Damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster... Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Do you en enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem. Don't try to debate with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd, you'd be no match for me. Ugh, do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do that, thanks. Like I need a shitty punk like shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. Um, uh, alma... <coughs> Mater? Ma matter? I don't know. Sorry. I should learn how those words mean. David. Hey, Paul. I, I got in. What? Really? You got in to flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure you get to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly a, fly passenger planes. I mean, it's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take care. I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I need. I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. All right, we got some right here. The, news, the school newspaper is posted out. Julia Stone Law School Topics of the Week. Let's see. 619. Okay. I think that's the... This is Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to use... Okay. A big hand for Michael Stra uh, Str Stratham. Today we must pay tribute to our friend Michael for the latest achievement. His, desertion, his dissertation in regards to current international law has made an appearance in Regal Collection, majoring in global jurisprudence in the same class. This is pretty hard, and they're also doing coming in national era to graduation. Okay, so we now we know the birthday. Make sure there. Okay, so let's go check on that. Let's check this real quick, and then we're gonna go. Oh, hey, wait, what's this? Found a scrap from a notebook. The rule matches these other pages, so he was here. What does it say? Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick with pick me and left me in the dust? I loathed those meaningless days. He had a leaflet for the school. It was in the desk. It felt like it was important. Was he trying to become a lawyer like D was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Alright, so what we have to do... Oh, here we go. Okay, this is later. Okay, so what we have to do is go back down here. Bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum bum. All 
I forget which one is the security box. We gotta go this way. Oh no, it's not so good. Okay. I'm gonna cut this out. We. Maybe this is the one. Yep, okay. Yeah. There's a key to the lecture rooms inside. Alright. Oh, wait. No, these are the. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the lecture rooms. Is that down here? No. There we go. Found a scrap from a notebook. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up to be told I am a have-not. Something you lacked. I have not. It's true. There are haves and have-nots. People who dream, whose dreams can come true and... Ugh. Ugh. Again, sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Finally, it... Yuck. No! Damn, monster. Why? Why are you chasing me? No. Uh, ah! Ah! Uh. No! Wake up. Ugh. I'm... I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought he would kill me, but it left? Damn it. Ugh, my neck hurts, and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Oh, we're gonna save this right here real quick. There's a notice about the seminar. Seminar 921. 0921. Where am I gonna Franz, Franz, more. Okay, Franz, Franz, more. Franz is funny. Same thing, but you know. So I think we can. I'm gonna cheat right here because I forget where we're supposed to go. I might. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got it. I'll take a little nap. Push myself wouldn't be a good idea. There we go. Mom, are you crying again? Sorry, I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. A dream. Yeah, Mom always cried in the living room. After I'd gone to bed on at night, that was when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's go. All right, now I think what we're supposed to do is... There we go. Criminal behavior. A psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? There's a slip of paper here. What's the number 9981 for?
can't remember which one it would be for, but I'm trying to think of. There we go. Boom. There's a key to the computer room inside. Okay, we're supposed to go. Oh, yeah, we've got it this way. Okay, I'm supposed to go this way. There we go. Unlock the computer room. There we go. Trash can is full of crumbled paper. Andrew Robinson, 144246. Hmm. So Andrew Robinson, huh? Go there next, probably. I'll talk computer, there's no power. What the? Um, friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us res resolute. Re yeah. A round of applause for my fe fellow graduates. Well, what? The laptop? But it wasn't on. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Huh? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would so proudly st be, be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed, but none other by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I don't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Stop it. Stop. You're the lowest of low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Wow. Stop! There you go. No, I'm not a coward. I, I just... I hear a scream. I, I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry to startle startle you. It's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Triple dot. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it. Jeez. You really look like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright, thanks. But that's... What's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, I'm not like... It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Triple dot. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you a shade, call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Ugh, that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful. At any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Hmm? Nope, nobody. He's who you looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Don't anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you? Can I ask something too, Professor Andrew? He always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but I but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor professor might have still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you, you get it open, okay? All right, got it. And we can. We will get it open. One four four two four six, right? I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. 
Yeah, well, you'd be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink it. Boom. Now we are f uh, filled with uh, energy. I don't know. It's being funny. Okay, so now we gotta go to. Right here. Alright. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, that's the loan. There's the loan. That loan D. I'm sorry. I teach, him so, I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname D stands for dreamer. Apparently, it has given to him. It was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. Wow. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. This is about D? It's awful that he'd say this about a student, though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried to so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. Alright. Now next. What the? No! The monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he since he couldn't kill me before? I'm gonna have a to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. So I think D is. Let me save real quick. Door's unlocked. I have a really bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. What even is this? Go in. No! D! Hey, D, what's wrong? Get up! Ah, my head feels like crap. N now you, that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Huh? The floor is leaking gas. You gotta get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. It's here. Uh, not gonna let let us go. Crap. The gas the gas is pouring in. I'd be poisoned. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Alright, save. Here we go. Got an iron pipe. I know what I'm doing on this one, but I kind of don't know. There's a crack in the wall. There's another room this way, right? If I tear down the wall, I can go in here. In there. I might be able to wind the crack with the hammer. Let's try it. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's go to the second floor. But there's one open. Can I pry it open with the crowbar? Have to at least try. I think we go this way. I can go up through the door in the ceiling. Go, go, go! What's happening? My game. There we go, there we go. Okay, I, I didn't know what it really looked like. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking at all. I was thinking more like a... Like a I don't know. Ah, pant, pant. Managed to escape. Hey, Dio, you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there.
Are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poisoned? Uh, I'm fine. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, man. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement, and I've once heard about it leaking gas. I only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property. So the school moved and this got abandoned. I see, but you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Shut up. I just sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think all this happened when it, when I just came here to relax. Should have just should have just stayed home at st uh, studying. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not in, in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You were still studying three whole years after you graduated? Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will, I will be a lawyer. So I keep studying and I still do. And there's no changing my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself. Climbing the elevator with, while ca carrying me? You're buffer than you look. <laughs> oh, well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, huh? But anyway, once you get out of here er, already, uh, already, it's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little, a little, and go. You do that. I'll be going. Save real quick. What's what it saying? Hey, get out of here. Gross, man. That's okay. Hey, oh, hey, hold on a sec. You dropped something. Here, you. Wait, what? Huh? This looks like Professor Andrews' right. Professor Andrews' writing. Why'd you have this? Hey, wait! Don't read that. Huh? Dreamer, the grade he'll always get. Hey, what's this about? How? Why did the professor? This is how he really felt. But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down. D! Ah, oh, that guy. He's in no condition. And that monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. I gotta find D. Hear that sound? I think, uh, if I remember... Not in this, but maybe... Uh, I'll find it. Probably cut it right to the point. There we go. D, there you are. Thank goodness. I always knew. At least I wasn't a genius or anything. That I wasn't a genius or anything. But why did then they just say it? I, respect, I respected Professor Andrew. Because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I afraid to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. Alright, so uh, I cut it to where... I've already done this option, and that was the right one. So we have to do this first. To show, you, to show everyone, but... Okay, we're gonna pick you shouldn't give up D are you going to give up on your dreams just because others make fun of them you can't give up you want to be a lawyer then don't give up over some teasing you're still young and full of life me I know I chased my dreams recklessly recklessly when I was a student I'll support you toward your dream so good luck and don't give up good luck you wishing me good luck what the hell do you know? We just met. I keep trying whatever the hell you say, but, that, but what's it done for me? Nothing. I'm sh I sure as hell know that I gotta try harder. You got that? Don't talk smack just cause you got a couple years on me. Good luck? I don't need it. D, calm down. Oh, calm down? I'm calm as hell. Nuts to you for butting in like you know any anything. Forget about me already. Like you know jack about how I feel. Leave me the hell alone. D, wait, I... D? You, you... You'd never understand how I feel.
you just made fun of me. You're just like everyone else, pretending to be my friend. Don't don't follow me anymore. Leave me alone. Nobody nobody should care should care about me. Crazy. But what? you are stay away, don't Wow. So that's a... Okay. Bed end two. Never ever give up. So we got that. And then now we'll show you what's actually supposed to happen in this clip right now. Alright. So we have two options. And I forget which one is the which, but I'm trying to get both options so then you can see what happens. So, uh, let's do this one. That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. Oh, I think we, I don't know if we did the right one. What? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking at something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. You, you want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Oh, no, we did the... Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. I studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see, and suddenly you have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now, but back then, I just couldn't accept it, so I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. But I was, I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. Now we understand why they said that. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the, narrowing the road. Or ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized it's not much. But I make my own money. I got a girlfriend. I drink with my buddy on weekends, and I join my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I had been set back. But I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put back, put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yes, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I couldn't regret it. How about you? I I won't give up, because, because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then, but it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. Huh? <gasps> David, what's up? No. But what? Hey, David. D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? But what the... No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He's chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. Alright. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Oh, I forgot. Okay, wait on. Doing terrible right now. Yes. Let's 
go. David, you're so damn slow. Are you sure you're alright? Damn it. Hang on, David. I'll come save you. Ah. Startled me, dude. You okay? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. But I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it's coming back again. It'll come back again. What? What do you mean, again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think that this is over yet. Ah, I don't get it, dude. But are you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I guess... So, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. W where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so thought you just dropped it. Place of regret. And an address? Do you know what kind of place this is? No clue, but I think it's pretty far from here. It'd take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. Hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Ain't it dangerous driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though I have s s sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, all right. Take care, take care of yourself. Is, it, is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can handle myself fine. Okay, be careful then. Wait. If we meet again sometime, you want to have a drink or something? Or some I don't know. Drink sometime? I think I said, of course. I'll look forward to it. I'll look forward to it. Scene 2. Julia Stone Law School, D. End. Alright, I'm going to save it there. And that was part 3. Um, yeah, this game's really good. Uh, it's amazing. And anyways, thank you for watching if you didn't. And peace out.